started this event uh, four years ago, just uh, uh, with about 600 volunteers, uh, stretching uh, the uh, beach from the waterfront road to uh, Kalaklan. But as the years go by, it has grown up, and uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, year uh, we have, uh, in partnership with um, Shore It Up and uh, the Metro Pacific Foundation, uh, you can see uh, the weather is gloomy but, uh, and rainy, but uh, the enthusiasm of uh, all the volunteers, young and old, uh, uh, from uh, various uh, schools and NGOs, Rotary Clubs, uh, locators here, they're all out here uh, supporting uh, the cleanup drive. Uh, of course, this is uh, the bay that uh, we are in and uh, we would like uh, to see that uh, it's uh, it, it is clean. Uh, last year we have 6,000 volunteers, but uh, I understand uh, stretching from the waterfront road up to Barreto, we have at least 10,000 volunteers this year. Normally the trash are, uh, are uh, segregated and they're categorized and uh, logged uh, so that uh, a study could be made by the ICC on uh, the uh, distribution of the trash, the composition of the trash. So it's very important that after this, we can uh, do a, um, uh, an education campaign. We cannot do a uh, cleanup every year, but the objective is to make people aware uh, that uh, we cannot continue on cleaning up. Uh, no matter how we do it every year, the trash will still come back. We have to do, go to the roots of uh, this uh, cause. And I think uh, uh, education uh, is uh, very important. That's why you could see the children from the school here, the, uh, from uh, elementary to high school, that uh, they will learn and value uh, the proper disposal of trash.